All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about real music and doing it in real time for like three or four real people out there just like you and just like me. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, this band here is really good. This is Atlantic. This is their new album, and you should check it out. The album is called Another World, and if you like melodic rock from the 1980s, with um, influences like Foreigner and Asia and Golden Earring and a few other bands. Um, certainly, you would probably find a band to compare this to that I haven't uh, thought of. But this is really good music. So if you want something new for your collection, check out Atlantic and their album, Another World, courtesy of our friends over at Escape Music. Also, if you want to escape completely escape the doldrums of boring radio check out modern retro radio modern retro radio.com just a great radio station playing music that the other stations uh, they're too chicken to play now you know who's not chicken jonathan kane and neil sean they are alpha males and uh, they were fighting about all kinds of different things and neil sean did an interview and he basically put to rest all of the prior issues that uh, these two guys were um, upset about. One guy was upset about how much money the other guy was spending. Another guy was kind of upset about how much control the other guy and maybe his wife were exerting over the band. And then there's this general thing about politics, which in the year 2024, is rearing its ugly head again. Jonathan Cain made some comments about Donald Trump and how um, it would be, what, legendary, or he would be a legend if he was campaigning from jail, basically. <laughs> Which, whatever, folks, whatever floats your boat, uh, I don't know if it would be legendary. It would be definitely entertaining, and this is why I have a problem with politics today. Because politics, it's all about entertaining. It's all about clicks and views. There are channels that pretty much pop up because they support one candidate or another, and then they find ways to defend that candidate even when things are really indefensible and people, they get in their tribe, uh, they put on their, their garb, uh, and some would say it's cultic to wear garb if you're in a tribe. But look, there are well-meaning people who need to support something, right? They should probably fill their life with something else. Music would be good. Um, God would be even better, actually, if you filled your life with God instead of politics and distractions. But anyway, I've gone off on a tangent. Let's get back to Neil Sean and Jonathan Cain. So um, here's my analysis of why things got better. Number one would be that both realized that they have a cash cow, that they own the cash cow with a slight nod to Steve Perry, who still gets a little portion of their profits, right? Um, the band is bigger than ever. Um, one song is probably bigger than any song in the history of music, and that, of course, would be Don't Stop Believing," song I'm a little tired of, but... Hey, when it comes on the radio, people celebrate. They're doing high fives. They're doing uh, car karaoke. And uh, that's not going away anytime soon. So they realized, okay, we probably need to try to get along so we can continue making lots of money. Um, I think it was Kane who accused uh, Neil Sean of putting like a million bucks on a credit card. Um, a million bucks to a rock star is kind of like maybe a hundred thousand for normal people. All right. And so my my guess is that um the spending habits of everybody in a rock band, especially a popular rock band like Journey, spending habits are out of control most of the time. And the spending is stuff that you and I can't relate to. We can't. Um, and how do I know this? Well, I've had private conversations with a few of these people, not going to name names, 
but they talk about problems that I would like to have. And I'm just like, yeah, that's tough that you can't get to the boat this weekend. That's really rough that your Ferrari broke down and now you have to get another one. I mean, just so again, my hunch is that everybody spent too much money in this band journey and pretty much every other band. Uh, nobody is investing. Remember when like Ross Valerie, when he was in journey, um, he went broke. <laughs> he had been in that band since the very beginning and he had no money. It was in the VH1 documentary. And that to me is really hard to believe and understand. I mean, put some of your money away, uh, get a stockbroker, uh, figure out how to invest. I mean, you're making that kind of money. See, I've never had that problem where I'm sitting here going, okay, where do I put this money, this overflow of YouTube revenue? <laughs> and I had that one month in the year 2020, which was the last time I think I was like, wow, I've really made something of myself. But now it's a struggle, and that's why I'm always asking people to support the channel. Um, these guys, they don't have those kinds of problems. They have different problems. So I'm thinking that Kane, who was asking Sean, hey, you've got this credit card. Um, you've spent too much money. And then Sean came back with, well, you don't give me the allowance that I deserve. That was essentially what the battle was about. So these guys who live lifestyles that you and I don't understand and probably won't ever um, they're fighting about stuff. And so they finally figured out, you know what, let's just keep our lifestyles. We may not like each other all the time. Uh, the wives too, apparently got together. And, um, that was a surprise. That was a narrative, right? And it was an interesting narrative. I don't know if it's a hundred percent true. As I sit here today, I, I have some doubts about how the wives just are getting along great. I would say this, though. The wives, I'm talking about Neil's wife and John's wife, they do have a lot in common, okay? It's not really a stretch to say that. Uh, you would think, based on their lifestyles, that they don't, but I'm thinking that they do, all right? And so Neil has a wife, and John has a wife, and uh, both wives, I think, are very shrewd uh, in different ways, but if they did team up to run this thing, then... That was probably a good idea. Uh, I may not be for some of the things that the wives believe in or talk about. Um, my theology may not line up with John's wife. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. But um, hey, you know, um, church can be a lucrative business. I'm gonna put it out there like that. It can be very lucrative, and um, negotiating deals can be a lucrative business. And um, getting the most out of whatever venue the band is going to play in or getting the best deal on merchandise so you can sell it to um, fans of this band. Um, I'm thinking that is probably being handled uh, more on Neil's side. And so everybody kind of has their hand in the cookie jar, you know? And so that I think is the real reason why this isn't going anywhere. This is going to be here for a long time. And I'm talking about the journey franchise you can talk about RNL. Um, there are remedies to any problems that are coming down the road. Um, when it comes to vocals or, you know, can he hit this note? Yeah. People aren't going to know. They're not going to know the difference. I just read this book about deep fakes and cheap fakes. And, um, the technology is already here, folks. It's actually, it's way past way past what you could imagine. And if you used a little bit of this technology, people would just sit there and not even know. They're not even going to know. That's why they're talking about avatars and they're talking about all kinds of crazy things. And it's here. So you may go to a show and say, that was amazing. And the whole thing was AI or a good chunk of it was AI. It looked real. The guys are up there. They're playing. They're sweating. It looks real, but it's not real. It's not 100% real, that's for sure. So, yeah, it's a cash cow, and these guys, they spend a lot of money, and so it would be kind of hypocritical to worry about a million-dollar credit card 
You know, if I put 100000 on a credit card, that would be ridiculous for me. But for some people, it wouldn't be ridiculous. And a million dollars, maybe I should say, is like $10,000 to these guys. They've got lots of money. That one song alone, folks, <laughs> it's more money than you and I can even imagine, right? And then you've got people who are helping get this music into commercials and movies, and people are signing off on it. Even Steve Perry, yeah, I'll give you permission to do that because I know. I mean, it'll make everybody set for life and then their kids and then their grandkids and then it'll go on for generations. So anyway, if you're related to Neil Sean or Jonathan Cain, I think you're set for life. Um, before I go, I'm not set for life. So here's my plug, right? <laughs> um, Patreon, YouTube memberships, buy me a coffee, right? If you liked this video, you could do a one-time buy me a coffee, say, hey, Dave, Thanks for doing what you do and all that stuff. And uh, buy me a coffee. I've had people buy me like five coffees, 10 coffees, which is kind of, it's too much caffeine, but you know, I'll just spread them out over time. Um, I don't actually drink the coffee, right? I'm using that as a way to support the channel. So in any event, uh, if you'd want to do that, that's great. Patreon, I've lost some patrons. So if you'd like to become a patron, that would really help me. Uh, it helps, uh, my family, it helps all of what I do. So if you're interested in doing that on a monthly basis, you can do a dollar a month, $5 a month, um, $2 a month. It's actually cheaper than buying the, the coffee, but the coffee is meant to be like a, like a one-time thing. So in any event, folks, um, the voice, whatever reason, <clears throat> it's kind of fading away here. Before I go, though, uh, here's Atlantic and a great album. People should check this out. Uh, this is called Another World. It's courtesy of Escape Music and another fine band that you're probably not familiar with. Uh, I still will be promoting new material on this channel from time to time. Maybe not as in your face as I've been, but um, still some good music out there that I think people should know about. God bless everyone. Please pray for peace in the Middle East and around the world. Pray for this upcoming election here in the United States because it's nuts out there, and it's only going to get nuttier as time goes on.